Hi, I'm Tony Gowland. In February of 2011, I almost completely lost the use of one hand. Uh, I was involved in a fairly horrific accident with a pane of glass, which meant that every single artery, uh, every nerve and every tendon uh, was slashed. It was uh, pretty horrible. I almost died. I lost so much blood. Uh, but thanks to the, uh, the great emergency services and the particularly the hand team down at the LGI in Leeds. And if I were to show you now the movement that I have uh, in both my hands, you could be forgiven for thinking that, well, you know, which one was actually the one that, that was damaged. Uh, if I roll the sleeves up, it becomes slightly more obvious. Uh, but the reason I'm putting this together is that at the time when it happened, I, you kind of think, God, I've just lost the use of my right hand. And I'm very mechanically minded. I was very able, got great manipulative skills, I could build pretty much anything. Um, and when stuff like this happens, one of the first things and perhaps the most traumatic thing to get your head around is quite what impact is this accident going to have on the rest of my life. And bless the Leeds team, they couldn't really tell me because it obviously depends on, to some extent, uh, how individual nerves will regenerate, uh, it depends how bad the damage was, uh, it depends on the skill of the team who put it all back together again. So given that at the time I didn't really have a clue, um, I am pretty well delighted with how things are now. So I put this together because if like me you've been, or you are in a situation where you've just had a fairly traumatic incident involving a wrist, a hand or whatever, um, at least this might offer some indication. I, I, I guess we can't generalise, you know, every accident is different. But at least, if, it's, if this is a glimmer of hope for you, if you're sat there thinking, maybe like I did, I created a list of things that I'd never be able to do again. I'm a guitarist, for God's sake. Um, I like to cycle. Very practical, hands-on, taking machines apart. Never thought I'd ever do anything like that again. The list that I wrote of things that I'd never ever be able to enjoy again has long since been torn up. And I've put a few little clips together to give an indication of, you know, I mean, for instance, I can play golf. Not hugely well, but as well as I could before. The right hand, it seems, isn't massively influential in the golf swing. I play guitar again now, um, and the clips that I put together hopefully will illustrate what's possible if you're fortunate enough to have, uh, you know, to have gotten to the right team uh, in the right amount of time, and if you followed the rules after that. Now, I didn't follow the rules quite as well as I should have done. In the early days, I, to some extent, thought, this is just never going to get better. So what's all this physio for? Trust me, these people know what they're doing. And I thank them for it. Uh, so, as I say, it's pretty good at the minute. The feeling isn't quite what you might want, but hey, you know, I nearly chopped it off. So, have a look, have a dig around. If you think uh, that my experience can in any way assist you from where you might be now, please get in touch. I'd be delighted. Delighted to talk about it. So, have a look around. Any questions, please get in touch. Bye.